what's going on guys and today I'm going to be showing you how to do Borkaf. Now there's been so many videos out there um, on how to do it but it's not been updated properly because so everyone uses blowpipe and like room crossbar and stuff like that but um, I'm going to show you an updated version. So I'm going to show you what I wear. So I'm wearing full void, void elite that is. Um, Salve Amulet EI, so that's the enchanted version. Um, you need that because obviously uh, Volcap is an undead monster, so that will make your DPS a lot better. Uh, got the Avia's Assembler as well. Uh, the Dragon Hunt Crossbow, which is the main key item to make you hit really high, and the accuracy as well. Got the Dragon Fire Ward, which is the best in slot range shield, which is like a ranged DFS. Obviously got the void gloves, big Asian boots, best in slot as well. It's pretty much the same as Rangers, but that's that. And you've got the archers ring imbued. Um, obviously if you don't have any of this stuff, uh, you can always bring like full armor deal or carols, you know, the accumulator, even just a, <coughs> a normal dragon crossbow, just a normal DFS. Um, so it is possible. Now inventory wise, I'm using, actually let me show you the arrows I forgot to show you. So the bolts I'm using is Ruby Dragon Bolts Enchanted. That is for the first half of the kill. And that makes you hit up to hundreds, which is good. And then when it's about 250 health, you switch to your Diamond Dragon Bolt E. And then you kill the rest of it. So what I've got now is one Super Restore, where you can have a Prayer Pot, doesn't really matter. One Ranging Pot. One extended anti fire. You can have a super extended anti fire. Um, obviously, super extend is better, but these are really cheap. I think, let me see how much they cost 829 GP, but the other ones cost like 15k. So, yeah. Anti venom plus, that's a must as well. And then, as you see, I've got monkfish and teleport out. One important thing is a crumble undead. So you can use dust runes and chaos runes, or you can just use airs and earths, it's up to you. But you need them, and I'll show you in a minute. If you don't know how to get here, I'll show you on the minimap. So if your house is at Relica, just go here, you walk up. If you've done Dragon Slayer 2, you'd know where to go, and you go on this little platform here. You can use the Femlic Sea Boots as well, if you've done the diary. But anyway, I'm going to show you. So once we're at the market, Run up to here and travel to Orphan. Once you've done that, we're going to run up here. And there's the boss. Now, when you go in, he doesn't attack you. I'll just prove that now. And the only time he's going to attack you is if you poke him. So once he's poked, he's going to wake up and then the fight starts. Okay, so when the fight starts, I'm going to show you bit by bit on how to avoid most of these attacks, what to do. So when you do it on your own, you'll know exactly what to do. So here we go. Make sure you pot up. Okay, so as you can see with that um, blue ball that it shoots out, that's its magic attack. So there's nothing you can do about that really. Um, that's why you pot your extended anti-fire or super extended so it doesn't hit you that much but it's going to hit you regardless sometimes you can tank it sometimes you can't but that's its um, attack style so make sure your health is above 30 for that because it can hit 30 on you that's its max so yeah watch out for that one okay with this one this uh, attack style the purple fire breath what you want to call it that one turns your prayer off so as you can see it just switched my prayer off instantly as soon as it hit me so all you got to do is go back to your quick prayers at the top click it and it turn it back on but once you've done this so many times you kind of know when to time it as well so um, even if you mistime it by like a second it's not too bad but as long as you get your prayer back on before it does its next attack then it's fine okay so with this orange fire breath I'm going to call it that from now on because that's all I can think of um, this is just a normal um, magic attack. It 
doesn't really hit um, to be honest but when it does it only hits like eights or tens it doesn't really hit high but like I said once you've got your extended uh, mantifier potted up and everything you should be fine so that's just like it's basic attack so nothing too special about that okay so with this attack style um, it's a ranged attack so because you're playing range already it's never going to hit you so same with the other attack style we did a minute ago um, it's just their basic attack so if you, you can play mage or play range when you're killing this boss it doesn't matter but um, yeah this is just its basic range attack so it will never hit you so just keep that prey on okay so with this attack style it's venom so it's like the venom fire breath as you call it um, so when it shows up green like this um, it will poison you and when it does poison you it will hit up to like 15s plus so that's really really strong so all you got to do is click on your health at the top top right where the minimap is or you can just click on the pot itself to cure cure yourself um, it's only on like a, I think it's like a two minute timer with the venom so only use it when you're actually poisoned kind of thing so um, yeah okay probably the most important part of the actual boss when it shoots this green stuff out it's like snot um, as you can see it goes all over the place so as long as your player is not next uh, sorry not going over the green slime then you're fine it doesn't matter if you go over it but it will just heal the boss whatever damage it does to you so if it damages you a 10 it's going to heal the boss a 10 but um, the one thing the one important thing you need to do when that happens is keep your run off so you're basically walking it um, as you saw me doing it a minute ago um, if you have your run on yes you can avoid it but you're more likely to take damage and you don't have much control of your player so as long as you've got a nice space between two lots of poisons or whatever you want to call it then you should be fine um, as you can see I like to stand at the back so I don't get hit that much like I don't have to keep clicking too much so normally when I stand at the back there's a lot of space but it's all random so but that's just my personal preference for that anyway but yeah if you do stand still uh, you will get hit with the fireballs you'll get hit 40 30 40 and you'll die in seconds so just be careful of that and then obviously once the green stuff has disappeared then you can just put your prey back on and attack it as normal okay so with this attack style it's very very important you have to react really quickly so when you see this white fire breath you've got to quickly go on to your um, prayers use the crumble undead spell and kill the little minion it spawns as you can see I've done it really quickly because as you can see it's you know it spawns right next to you so you have to be really quick but I'm going to show you this in slow motion so you know exactly what to do when this happens okay so what you've got to do is you click off your prayer click on the floor so you're not attacking raw Clef anymore get on your crumble undead spell and then attack the minion and once you've done this so many times it becomes a lot easier and then once you've done that you can just switch your prayer back on and go back to normal you're never gonna make it you're not good enough there's a million other people with the same stuff you really think you're different and you must be kidding think you're gonna hit it but you just don't get it it's impossible it's not probable you're responsible too many obstacles you gotta stop it though you gotta take it slow you can't be a pro don't waste your time no more who the fuck are you to tell me what to do i don't give a damn if you say you disapprove i'm gonna make my move i'm gonna make it soon and i'll do it because it's what i want to fucking do because all these opinions and all these positions they come in in millions they block in your vision but no you can't listen that shit is all fiction because you hold the power you're as long as you're trying make it there's no way that you make it And maybe you can fake it But you're never gonna make it Aren't you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back Don't tell me you believe that 
Cause you just gonna take that Hope that you fucking fight back Okay, with this fireball here, you've probably seen this when we're doing Dragon Slayer 2. Um, pretty simple, because once you've done this so many times, you can see the animation Volcath does, um, and you know what's going to happen. But what you've got to do is move at least two squares away from it, whether it's going forward, backwards, left or right, doesn't really matter. As long as you're two squares away from that fireball, you're fine. But if it does hit you... Nine times out of ten, it will one hit you, so just be careful with that as well. But pretty easy to avoid. So, there we go, that is how you kill Volcaf. It is a lot to take in, but once you've done it um, a load of times, then you just get used to it. But um, even to this day, I still die um, a few times. Um, just due to lack of concentration, but um, yeah, this is very good for money. You know, you're guaranteed at least a hundred k plus every kill, um, so that's very very good for money. I normally do around three kills per trip. Depends on how much it hits me. As you can see, there it hit a thirty. That's its max. But uh, yeah, as long as you know when to move. How to dodge all its attack styles, as you see with the green slime, the fireball, using the crumble undead spell, um, just little things like that. And uh, yeah, you should be fine. But I normally average around three kills a trip. And once you've done that, you just tally out, bank. If you have a POH, play around house with the um, the pool, so it regens all your stats. That's even better. Or you can just go to clan wars. Make sure your house is at Relica, that makes life a lot easier. And then just go back and kill it. But um, yeah, it takes it took me a, a few attempts to sort of get used to it because there's a lot to take in. There's a lot of attack styles, a lot that's going on. But all you got to do is just not panic, just you know relax, and uh, yeah, you'll be fine. Um, I've been doing Volcaf for like maybe a couple weeks. It feels longer, but where I've been doing like six hour, um, six hour trips with Volcaf, it feels like I've been doing this for months. But I think it's been a couple of weeks. I've made probably about 200 mil plus. Um, obviously, take away some on supplies and that, but but yeah, it's very good for money very very good and gives very good range XP as well but yeah um, I hope this guide helped you um, it took a little while to make but um, obviously I wanted to upload something different um, but like I said it will take a little while to get the hang of it but once you know how to do it properly then it's quite fun it's quite a fun boss to do so yeah please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon